welcome back to Welshman Tribor Gamer, and today we're going to have an unboxing and review of HeroQuest the game system. So this is the new version by Avalon Hill and who's the other company? Hasbro. Uh, so the toy company and Avalon Hill, which has got a really long line of sort of deep uh, games that they have come up with over the years, including Squad Leader, etc. Luckily, this isn't Squad Leader. So if you're very astute, you may have noticed that I am not recording in my usual place, so the colours may be a bit off and, you know, you can see stuff like the wires, etc. That's because I'm recording at the kitchen table, so this box is a little bit too big for me to film from my usual spot. So first of all, the Heat Request, as I said, was made, is made by Avalon Hill and Hasbro. Now the original one, original one had um, Games Workshop involved, and obviously, Games Workshop being the company that it is now, it didn't want anything to do with the new game. So they went ahead and made their own version. So make of that as you will. Now, I have no fondness for the old game. I never played it. I did play Advanced Hero Quest, which was a bit more like a Games Workshop game than maybe the original Hero Quest was, uh, using D12s, etc. But... Generally speaking, I rather that game. So I'm not coming into this review with any sort of rose-tinted glasses or anything. First of all, I have to say, this box weighs an absolute ton. And it shows you on the back what you're going to get, etc. Now, I have played this. It has been opened. So I could give a proper review of it. No point in me giving you a review of a game I've never played. But I will give you a quick rundown of what's in the box. So first of all, we have the... Uh, Zargon screen, I think it's Zargon. Uh, so this is like your um, DM screen if you like, and it's got like all the quick cheat uh, rundowns of stats, etc. So that's what you get that. Then you get the usual board. So this is the board, which is identical, I think, to the original, apart from maybe slightly improved quality, I would say. So it's double, so it's double that size. It's there you go. Oh, so big, I can't even fit it on my kitchen table properly to show you. Oops, you're not meant to see those ones. Uh, those are just characters that we've got in the game so far that I've played a few of. So you get loads of little cardboard tokens. So, like these ones, which are like dead ends and like a sewer entrance or whatever. There's skulls, another dead end. So you get loads of these pit traps, all that sort of things. Uh, secret secret door that one is and they're really nice thick pieces of cardboard you know they're decent quality you get your stairs where all the adventures start in this um, beginner quest uh, in the new ones uh, like the expansions I believe there are doors that you can start your quests at but in this version you can you only start at the stairs going down. So you get two of these really nice if you see that yeah cover art slip cases so that you slip open and then you've got all of your miniatures. Now the miniatures and the furniture etc all come unpainted it's all bare plastic so you have to paint them up but you get a bunch of like these doors so they come all grey like that the base of it is but then you can paint them up and they look kind of nice when they're painted I hope you can kind of see that and okay the um, door grippers the um, packaging is a little bit tight I'm hoping it's not gonna wear the paint off too badly but these are the open doors and those are the closed doors and then you get like bookcases which a nice bookcases, you know, they'll, they'll go, be you good used for D&D &D or, you know, anything like that. And have a lot of bookcases. And you've got this sarcophagus or crypt. It does open, though it's rather stiff because I never opened my one because I have yet to see a reason why you would. Then we have this fireplace. We have three of these chests. Like I said, as you can see, they're painted up, you know, really quite nicely. They've taken the paint well. 
uh, they don't it doesn't slide off which I was kind of worried because it's sort of this rubbery plastic I was worried that the paint wouldn't stick to it but no it sticks you know wash everything first of all with warm soapy water to make sure that you remove all the release agents and what have you and uh, you'll be laughing okay, got like a little comfy chair I want one of those, those nice chairs uh, a rack which is kind of cool be good for me, make me a bit, uh, a bit longer. I'm a short ass. Uh, and then got this little like altar almost. Right, it came with a bunch of skulls as well, which you can glue onto uh, some of the furniture. I haven't. I don't really see why they put them in here, to be honest. Um, but you know, I'm sure somebody out there has used them. It also came with these. These rats, which have no in, no in-game purpose, I haven't painted them, but you know they could be useful, maybe for Rangers of Shadow Deep if you wanted to use them for the giant rats, etc. We have a huge wad of character sheets, so you've got millions of them. You shouldn't run out of them, and I've already used a few, as you saw. Uh, and then you've got a plethora of cards. If I can, ugh, can't even get them all out. Get my arm right in front of the camera so you can't see anything at all. So we have in the cards. So we have the spells. So we have water, air, earth, and fire. So these are for the wizard and the um, elf to use. Then you have equipment cards, and you have plenty of equip equipment that you can buy from the store in between games. Then you have artifacts. So these are the special artifacts that you might find on a quest, which would be said if you do then we have dread spells so these are the spells that the whoops, zargon or the um the baddie the dm if you like uh uses uh, to play against the players if you're having one of them you can use the app there is an app but uh, my feelings about the app is when you're playing with the app you feel like you're kind of playing an app you don't feel like you're playing the board because you spend so much time in the app I hope that makes sense. So these are the stack cards for the uh, baddies. I'll show you the actual miniatures for them, so I don't really need to show you those. Uh, these are the heroes. Again, you don't need to see them. So there are four heroes to choose from. Uh, treasure cards, so all the different treasures that you might find, or hazards, etc. So when you're searching the deck, you might actually find something like a hazard instead of a treasure. And these are just like the quick cheat cards to tell you, you know, what you can do in your turn, etc. So it is a two to five player game. So if you're playing two players, that'd be one person a Zargon and uh, one person controlling all of the heroes or well, however many heroes you decided to play with. Or you can play it one player really if you're using the app. So it's one to five player maybe. And then, so, if you're having five players, obviously, it'd be one person controlling each character and Zargon as the game's master, if you will. So, this box contains the miniatures, which is what most people are probably uh, interested in if you're watching my channel. Excuse the noise. Okay, so these are the miniatures and the dice. So, you get, like, the specialist dice, which is kind of annoying, but... There you go. All games now come with specialist dice. You could also use a normal dice, and there are places online where you can see what numbers would mean which, what things. So first of all, what have we got? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the orcs, and she looks like that. So we've got female and male orcs. So they come in two poses for the female orcs, this one and the one I just showed you. And then for the male orcs, two poses also, so two of each pose. So this dude, I'll probably throw a little box up somewhere and you can actually see what they look like. So these ones I've painted up, obviously. Uh, I will try and put up a image of both painted and unpainted. So those were the painted uh, four orcs. And then you get six 
of these goblins. So you've got two in this pose. Two in this pose, and they're female ones. And then two in this pose. So that's six of the goblins. Then you have four skeletons, all of them identical, all of them holding scythes, because they must have been farmers in previous life. And then we have two mummies, which are kind of cool. Zombies, we have two of them. Then we have Dread Knights. We've got four Dread Knights. Now, not to be confused with Chaos Warriors, because Chaos Warriors were in the original game, and um, probably Games Workshop don't want you using the name Chaos Warriors, so these are Dread Knights, even though I can't see that they are actually um, copyrighted, because I believe Chaos Knights and Chaos Warriors were around long before Games Workshop. And these are the Abominations, so a rather weird choice for the Abominations. Um, fish people? Personally, I wouldn't find fish people that scary, you know? Legs and a fish head seems rather comical more, but uh, makes me think of Spongebob. But here you go, they are fish people, or abominations. So you've got three of them. You've got one a gargoyle, which also doubles up as like a demon for some games that I have seen. And now we're on to the heroes. So we have the wizard, which I've tried to paint up in like their traditional colours for him. And I think done an okay job of that. Uh, we have the elf. The female elf. We have the dwarf. And the dwarf is a very busy miniature. Uh, quite difficult to get all the detail on him, so that's pretty good. And we have the Barbarian. Kind of a nice miniature. It's kind of a shame that Games Workshop weren't involved with the new uh, one because you know there would have been some crazy miniatures then. But, you know, it probably would have been double the price too, so maybe it's a good idea that they weren't. We also have this Witch King Leash skeleton guy. Uh, so, yeah. All in all, the miniatures are nice. They took paint well and the sculpts are fairly decent really you know they're not they're not up to the standards of some war games such as games with chop stuff but i would say they're you know really good for miniature war game stuff so what do i think do i think it is worth it i think it's a really easy games set a rule set and i think that people who haven't played a lot of sort of miniature games this would be a really good way of them getting into it because um they're simple rules. I have a group that I've just started with my neighbour, and we just started playing some miniature war games and such. And this is one of the first ones that we have started to do. So, is it a war game? No, it's not. It's a board game. But it introduces you to a lot of the sort of rules of war games, such as movement spaces and adjacent and line of sight and you know using spells that are one off etc bonuses boons etc you know so they introduce a lot of things which are in war games so i think this is a really good way of introducing people to war games through a board game it's one of those sort of gateway games which uses miniatures so it's kind of like a miniatures war game but it's not quite you know it's it is a board game but it's an adjacent game, and I think a good way of introducing players to board games, um, to, to miniature war games, especially skirmish games. So that's my review of it. Do I think it's worth the money? Yeah, for me it is. I think I didn't have a nostalgia for it, so I wasn't sucked into that sort of, oh no, this isn't the game I loved years ago. And it's a good game to introduce other people to wargaming and board games. So, yeah, for me, it's a brilliant thing. If you have, like, loving memories of the original game, maybe you'd probably want to give this a miss because you probably hung up a little bit on what it used to be and not what it is now. So if you like this video, please leave a like and maybe comment below. If you do, I will 
uh, respond to every comment that is left on my channel and maybe even subscribe if you like what you've seen there will be more he requests coming up it's been my birthday and my wife and children bought me a few of the expansions so there will be more coming up later although i haven't painted any of it so it will take a while for it to appear on my channel but until next time it's going to be goodbye from me welsh miniature board gamer